<laughs> we have elk here. Yeah. I've um, never had anything like this, so I'm excited. Well, I thought for Winging It Gone Wild Week, we'd do something Perfect. that's considered a little avant-garde, maybe, for some people. Um, my first experience with elk was actually elk slider burgers, um, and they're excellent. Um, people think of gamey meat as being a bit of a turnoff, but uh -huh. um, the This meats, is not as gamey? It, it's not really all that gamey at all. I, I didn't find it gamey, and I just actually started reincorporating what would be considered like a red meat. Now, And this um, is brown, actually, right? Yeah, it's, well, it's brown, yeah. And it's... Um, it's very, very lean. A lot of people will actually substitute something like this for like their red meats and stuff because it is so lean. It's actually more lean than chicken, pork, and beef. So it's pretty healthy for you. Yeah. Looks great. And, and tell me now what we're going to be making here in our dish. So what we're going to be doing is our bistro steak selection every week, it's pretty much different. Um, we serve it with truffle mashed potatoes. Mm, yum. Delicious. Uh, cream and cheese, this is sour the cream. Truffle oil right yeah, it's here. Truffle oil right there. Oh, delicious. Some bits of truffle in it. And um, our house seasoning and some fresh local veggies I got from um, Fred Farms over in Dunkirk, New York. Because I'm the, I'm the shop local, go local, stay local guy. That's great. I try to you know, do the so, same. Yeah. Um, so, what we're going to do is I'm just going to drain these potatoes, which I've boiled until they're fork tender. All right. And how long does that take usually? Not too Not long. Not too long? Yeah. Easy I to use do. a standard, you know. Idaho or russet potato. Okay. Um, and then what we're going to do is just add our cream cheese. And where did you buy the elk, by the way? Where I got this through um, one of my major distributors. Um, actually, Maplevale Farms okay. uh, was able to source this for me. And they're like a, a family owns and operated warehousing distributor. Okay, and people can get it though at the supermarket though? Too, you can usually go to a local butcher and they can get it or they can special order it for you. They okay, can get great. it in. Yeah, well, there Chef are people in Buffalo that's, that carry it. Great. Well, Chef David here is going to continue making this delicious, unique dish for our We Ain't Gone Wild, but now we're going to send it over to Emily. Hey, welcome back. We're in the kitchen with Chef David from the Buster Brown Bean Company. Uh -huh. We, I know, that's a tongue twister, but I got <laughs> you it. You do okay. well with it. Well, well thank no, you. Know. I've been practicing all mm -hmm. night. We are here cooking a very unique dish for our We Ain't Gone Wild Week, elk. Mm -hmm. We've started it. Um, just talk about a little bit first before we get into a new location. Yes, we have let's a new talk, location. Let's talk about preps first. What, you have some zucchini here? I have some zucchini yellow and uh, green zucchini squash. I source these from a local farm. I jump on my moped and drive out and <laughs> be all earth friendly and sustainable. Um, Roberto Fred um, got me these in Dunkirk, New York. I get a lot of stuff from him because he's, like mm -hmm. I said, I can jump on my moped and drive mm -hmm. over. Um, I've prepped out this steak. Uh, because it is like on the game year side, especially the first couple times you have it, you might want to you know, try to tenderize it, marinate it in something, maybe brine it in some way. I put our house seasoning, which is a very basic um, smoked paprika, garlic, and onion powder. Um, and then I just sprayed it Putting. a little bit with some nonstick. Okay, and, and now you're going to uh, put it on this hot, hot pan. It. Yep, you want to hear the sizzle. Okay. And you know your meat is ready to turn when you check it and you go like this. If it sticks, it's not ready yet. Interesting. So just leave it alone. And then once it's not sticking anymore, if it just... Flips over easily. Just flips right over easily, then, that is so then you're good. good to know. All right? uh, that's why a lot of people end up kind of right. messing with their meat too much, and you don't really want to do that. And you said with this, if, if it's like your first time cooking it, we're going to go doing... medium, medium well for you okay. just to make sure that, and everybody else in the studio, because of course everybody will, will probably try it. And is this a leaner meat? It's a very lean meat. Um, I had mentioned earlier, um, it's a very lean meat. Um, the majority of elk is actually sourced out of the United States, so it's kind of important that we start getting more elk farms going here. Um, is it expensive? It is a little bit more on the expensive side. It's a bit extravagant. Um, you know, it can go anywhere between like, I'd say 12 to $15 a pound, maybe so even more. So it's more of a luxury. It's kind of but a luxury, yeah. But you treat yourself because but, um, it's healthy for you. But even in the bistro, I mean, you're still going to be, you're going to be maybe slightly over $20 on this entire dish. And you're talking about truffle mashed potatoes, mm -hmm. you know, fresh mm -hmm. veg, and an elk steak, which is really, really cool. So we'll be serving this all, all a weekend Delicious. during our dinner services. Great. Yeah. And in the next segment, I want to get to your new location. Yes, that's very that's exciting. Cool. Yeah, we're excited. Right now, we're going to toss it over to Matt. What's going on, Matt? Here in the kitchen, it smells so good in here. Our elk right here is rising. It's kind of gotten a little bit, a uh, little bigger, right? Plumps a little bit. Plumps a little bit. Kind of like a turkey burger would for you. And I just want to hold this dish up so people can see it here. If you guys can take a look here, this beautiful elk dish. It's on top of. Uh, cream cheese, sour cream, truffle mashed potatoes. Oh my goodness, delicious. Yeah, right? Sounds like a bit of heaven right there. Uh, and we're also are. going to be, you chopped up some zucchini. Yep, I sliced these. Woo! Woo! Look at that! Hot tamales in here, folks. Yeah. <laughs> Woo! I'm going to take a step back now. Down. What yep. kind of liquids are in there to make it? Now, what smell I did is good? 
I took the Buster Brown Bean Company honey balsamic vinaigrette, and I kind of do equal parts of that and a little bit of water, and I use it as a dry drink solution. I've done it on here before. You guys can buy that on our website, I believe. If not, you can just call the store and, and they can have it for you. The pans no seem pretty hot. Yeah, How it was hot pretty hot. Pan? Well, in the restaurant, actually, what I do is I actually take this and I do the same thing, but on a flat top. Okay. And I just cover it a little bit and steam it because they're fresh vegetables. You don't really need to do much to them, and they take like two seconds to do. Okay, great. And I have to say that when that skunk was in here. He was going like this. Yeah. It smells so good. So the you, think you were keeping him happy too. Yeah, yeah, the ocelot I think scared me less than that skunk. I think the skunk was. <laughs> he was, he was cute. Pointing his nose in my direction. He was cute. And yeah, he was cute. I guess we have video of you and your kids. I, I, I believe there's a video. I don't know if we're going to play that now. I, I think um, that they were they pretending are. to here be animals. There you go. Oh, adorable kids. <laughs> Lily and, and Xavier. They were William and Xavier. <laughs> Lily and Xavier. Lily and Xavier. Yep. They were pretending to be animals yeah, for, for Animal Week. For here. Animal Week. They found out that it was Animal Week on TV and they said, Daddy, I want to be on TV too. How cute. So, and look, you made it happen. Their little, their little spot of fame right there. And now we also have some wine here too to go with yes. the elk dish. Talk to me about what goes well with elk meat if people aren't familiar. Well, I also meant to do a beer pairing as well, but mm -hmm. um, that, that didn't happen today. However, I do have this excellent um, Syrah mm -hmm. from Liberty Vineyards. Um, okay. I always try to feature local wine, local beer, mm -hmm. and do pairings. Um, you are definitely a local guy. I'm a shop local, go local guy. Now, this Syrah has nice spicy undertones to it, mm -hmm. um, which will go great with this meat. You know, mm -hmm. you could use it with any type of gamey meat, like a venison or lamb. Um, any of those things would do well. And then I think I even recommend in the... Um, and the recipe that I gave you guys online and the viewers online, you can do like a little deglaze. So you take the pan that you cooked it in. If you cooked it in a pan, you can deglaze it and make a little reduction and pour it over the top of the steak. Great. Um, maybe even melt some blue cheese on top of it. That mm, that might help delicious. some nice chunky Danish blue cheese. And or this something is our beautiful better. dish right here. There you How go. How long did that elk take to cook? Not too long. And you said when you press down on it, you yep. it's firm there. If See, it's, it's firm, that means the, the more firm the meat becomes, the closer it is to being well done, okay. basically. So really quickly, tell me about the new place. Tell me where the Places right now, the Buster Brown. The Buster Bean Brown Bean Company. We're located at 33 Church Street in Fredonia, New York. Um, we're going to be moving to 21 East Second Street in Dunkirk. Not moving. We're actually opening up a second location. A second location. So it'll right. be a simplified version. You can still get fresh made sandwiches. It'll be open for breakfast and lunch, things like that. And uh, we're really, really excited. It's a, it's a big deal for us, obviously, because we're a small local business. Yes. So, and you mentioned yeah. something about the vanilla chai too. Yes, we're going to be doing a sale on our website, uh, BusterBrownBean.com, and our vanilla chai. It's very, very popular. And also the key lime cheesecake for the summer. Ooh, that's been yummy. very You'll popular. You'll have to bring that in here one day. I don't know if you already have brought that I in. I haven't brought that in, but I have oh, done a key lime buttercream. But it, it is quite, quite good. It's very okay, popular. Great. So Should I'm gonna, we cut this a little yep. bit? Cut it up? Let's see. Now, I've never had any type of gamey, gamey meat, but I am open for anything. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be nice to you and cut this nice and small. That looks very, well, that's okay. I'm up for an adventure. I always like different kinds of food. So, um, this I is feel here. You do that. I wish people at home there. could. I wish I could give you guys a bite too. Here you go. <laughs> my first taste of elk. Oh my gosh, that's delicious. Thank you. Very, Thank very you. good. Unusual taste. Go. Okay, we have weather coming up. Look at that beautiful dish right there. And uh, we will be right back after this. All right, welcome back. Time for our second helpings with Chef David from the Buster Brown Bean Company. Tell me what you're going to make so out of this. Elk so we steak. are going to turn this into a barbecue elk steak burrito. Delicious. And tell me, what Oops, is sorry. this sauce in here? That is my coffee bourbon barbecue sauce. I make this. You can order it online because um, Victoria Hong actually requested that it go onto our website, and oh, literally hey. within minutes it and showed up on there. And again. It's BusterBrownBean.com. Okay, and you put actual coffee in the sauce. There's actual coffee and actual bourbon in the sauce. It smells so good. People, the people of Western New York are probably going to think I'm. Like an alky, they seem to. <laughs> I seem to have. <laughs> but it, does the bourbon get cooked down? Yeah, it gets cooked down so in there quite a bit. So could a child have it or no? Yeah, yes? yeah, it's fine. Okay, so it's I do safe. make some pastry that kids are not allowed to eat. So really, what we're looking to do is just warm this up and warm it through, mm -hmm. and then we're going to uh, careful. There's an open flame. All right. right on the shell. It doesn't matter what kind you use. Yep, this is a spinach wrap. In the restaurant, we have spinach and multigrain wraps. I'm just going to treat it like a typical sandwich. Put Got in some some, uh, some greens. Beautiful. Right. Bright colors. And then, yeah. And then you just roll it like you would normally. And you have some rice on the side there. Now, what do mm -hmm. you do with the rice? Is it? The rice is a pilaf that we serve um, in the restaurant. Whenever we do any type of burrito or 
Um, it's uh, actually our salmon, which I've done on the show, is very, very popular. That mm -hmm. always comes with the rice pilaf as well. But that we have Taco so Tuesday every delicious. Tuesday. Oh, and really? So yesterday we did the rice pilaf because we did tacos. Delicious. <laughs> An elk in a burrito just seems so unusual. I love that you do that. How yeah. creative. And Thank again, you. very delicious. Not that gamey. No, not it at was, all. It was awesome. Yeah. Okay, we're going to bring you guys in here. Matt and Amelia, come on in. I know Amelia just had a piece of this elk here. It's so good. It's so good. It's, it's really juicy. Really flavorful. Really, really awesome. Well, thank you for coming you in again. You're me. one of our favorites. So. It's I do try. Yeah. Can't wait to eat all and of this. Congratulations, food. right? I think I heard in my ear that you opened up a yeah, new location. Yeah, we're opening a new location. Yeah, it'll happen sooner or That's later, so but before the first of August, I can tell everybody. Yeah. That. Yeah. Awesome. So everyone mark Great. it down on the calendar. So. Yes. <laughs> tell everybody again, just really quick, where that new location is going to be. It's 21 East Second Street in Dunkirk, New York. Yeah. Great. Awesome. Okay. Thank yep. you, Chef David. Thank okay, you. Coming up tomorrow, we have Buffalo Style Chef Scotty. He's going to be in our kitchen. Going